guys, it's Lisa Meekum with creativefashionblog.com and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about printable PDF sewing patterns. I'm going to walk you through how to print them, how to store them, how to organize them, and most importantly, how to use them. Printable sewing patterns are so useful because you're able to search, download, print, and assemble your patterns all without ever leaving your house, making it super, super, super convenient. Plus you have access to all these different designs that are not made in big brick and mortar stores. Once you've downloaded your sewing pattern, it's time to print it out. Only print the very first page and be sure you unclick fit to page on your printer settings and then measure to be sure you have the accurate measurements. By only printing the very first page and making sure that your scale is correct, you're gonna save a ton of paper overall. Once that's right, print out the rest of your pattern. Now, we're gonna trim your pattern pages around the border to be sure that they all fit together using a paper cutter and some tape. I like to trim only the right side and the bottom along the perimeter around each page. Now it's time to tape it all together. Each sewing pattern is going to have little notches around the border. If you line those up and tape them together, your pattern's going to quickly take shape. While each sewing pattern designer may do things a little differently, in general, you can expect to find an outline of what your pattern pieces will look like in the instructions, as well as you can use the letters or numbers that are going to be large on the background of your pattern just to see the order that everything goes in. So this 12 page pattern has one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, all the way down. So you know what order to line the pages up in. Now that your pattern pages are in order, it's time to tape down the pattern itself in areas where it could come undone after it's cut out. I like to especially focus on page corners and any small pattern pieces that might be on a paper seam. Now the hard part is over. It's time to cut your pattern out. While you're working on your sewing pattern itself, I find that the heavier printer paper weight is so much easier to work with and lays flatter than tissue paper. After your project is complete, it's time to store your PDF sewing pattern. I use a large manila envelope for its size and its ability to stack nicely in a filing cabinet. Then I print out the first page of my instructions where it's pretty and it gives me a nice overview of the pattern itself and I tape it around the four borders of the page so that way it doesn't snag or that front page doesn't tear in storage. The larger envelope size makes it really, really easy to store larger pattern pieces without folding them up too many times. You can use this organization method to store any sewing pattern and they stack really nicely in a filing cabinet so you can flip through them really easily and find what you need. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like more projects and tutorials, check them out on creativefashionblog.com. Thanks.